got in when they sent Pearl out. You heard made a mess of this Not place. This again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lap? few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. There's evidence Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. Hey, Valentine. Go ahead. Show me what you got. Something I can do? Just curious what you're thinking. There's a lot of people out here could use a hand. That was it. If you say so. some questions. Sure, darling. What did you need? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question. It was Fever Pitch, Detective. She had apparently gone to the Overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. A girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? Maybe 
Maybe later. I'll be around, languishing from your inattention. Do you think anyone actually felt like they were at the beach in here? Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. The overseer's office is locked. Oh, yes. Mr. Parker locked it a while back. After finding out that one of the other residents had been inside, said it wasn't safe. If the key isn't on him, it's probably in Mr. Parker's room. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. Juliana acting strangely lately? Oh, well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but uh, she's been so much more pleasant lately. Uh, I mean, it's been nice, but also a bit unnerving. Most people don't really understand um, uh, us, uh, uh, but I always appreciated how she can just take charge of a situation. It's what allowed me to focus on my research. I, I'm worried something has happened to her. She doesn't seem like the same person. Oh, was there something else, a detective? What do you mean, Juliana's not the same person? My wife has always been a very harsh woman, detective. I don't know who it is in our rooms, but that is not my wife, detective. Oh, was there something else, a detective? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, detective? Tell me about yourself. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Please, just go. How many folks are taking this video? I think we ought to talk. What's wrong? Wrong? Oh, no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Please just go. Tell me.
Tell me about yourself. Yeah, I don't really talk about this. The real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh. To end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, Detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but. Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich? Or die defending some outdated ideals? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. Turns out, Robo Brains can eat. And I served him up a heap in helping and justice. Well, bravo, I suppose. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. Ocean. What was 
ocean.